Welcome back to the channel everybody. Q50 vlog here, weekend time. Trying to get uh, the garage cleaned up. There's a lot of stuff going on here and it gives me a little bit of anxiety. So got some of our super clean products out. I got a couple of new, a few actually, new parts to show you guys. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. I'm getting ready now. The Tain Aztec Lowering Springs featured in the in the uh, Spring into Spring Tain Aztec Lowering Spring giveaway. The winner, Caesar, uh, Caesar Bose, who uh, we tried to get a hold of for many, many days, finally got the message and got back to me. So congratulations again to Caesar. Your package is about to go out right now. The Q50's back out of the garage. We're gonna load this sucker up. It's, it's really heavy. It's gonna be expensive to ship out, but it was worth it. Uh, really, really good giveaway. Almost 680 entries, still can't believe that. Uh, so really, really pumped, really pumped for Caesar. I'm glad uh, you got your uh, comment back in time. Um, so sorry to all of you guys who were thinking you're gonna have a second shot to win these springs, but uh, they're going out to Caesar uh, this morning. So well, let's see what we can get into today. I'm gonna unbox these parts in a minute. All right, let's uh, do this. Just film everything today, huh? That's skill. Show you his address. Oh, Blisco's carbon fiber. This is a stream wheel cover, but I like to use it to uh, keep my jumper cables in. You never know when you need them, but. It also makes those ugly jumper cables look cool. All right, let's roll. I feel like I'm noticing a, a little dent that was there before. You see that little ripple? Ugh, annoying. Hate people. Well, I already drove this car this morning, so I can't really do a cold start, but let's listen. Oh, speed culture, SCS custom capback system sounds so good. Well, I think my BC coilovers have settled completely now. It's been maybe maybe a month and a half since doing the installation. I don't even remember now. Uh, but I gave them a few weeks to settle. Yeah, it's probably been two months now at this point. Ah, shit, I don't even remember. Uh, anyway, I let them settle for several weeks, then made some final tweaks, and now I'm actually um, scraping just a tiny little bit as I back out of the driveway, uh, which I wasn't before. So that's telling me that it's it's um, dropping, or it had dropped a little bit, at least in the front, um, because I didn't soften the settings anymore. So I think I'm going to, I want a little less negative camber also, so I want to raise the front maybe like an eighth of an inch. And I might even bring the rear up an eighth of an inch as well, maybe even a, a quarter. I don't know, we'll have, we'll have to play with it a little bit more, but now I think that they're completely settled. I think it's time to make some final adjustments on them. And uh, yeah, just a little bit in front to get rid of some of that camber. And a little bit in the rear, just to kind of keep that same, you know, same stance, but also just to, be add a little bit extra layer of security uh, so I don't have any you know binding in the rear axles I uh, obviously I'm going to mail this package off but I want to spray the car off a little bit as well I'm not gonna do a full wash because well it's supposed to rain today and I think it's starting to come down right now but the car is absolutely covered in pollen which I can't stand and it just makes washing it pointless at this point um, because even if you leave it in the garage as soon as you drive down the road uh, the rear end is covered with it and the doors and windows are covered with it so I'm just going to spray it off so it doesn't look so bad it should still be relatively clean underneath the pollen uh, but one thing you guys see in this you guys see in this new hat speed culture <sighs> pretty sick I dig it uh, I think it's a little bit too expensive to sell them uh, I have to buy some massive quantities to get the prices down a little bit 
but one individual hat's like 30 or 35 bucks or something, including shipping. So it's not terrible, but it's not something I, I plan on selling. Uh, but I thought they're pretty cool anyway to wear, you know, just to promote the brand a little bit. We'll see how long we can keep this thing clean for. How many seconds we can keep this thing clean for. Let's listen. Uh, all right, continuing on with the errands. I made it to Target Stop One. Love this store. Not, but guys, do me a favor. Don't be one of these freaking idiots and leave your cart in the middle of the parking lot. It doesn't take any effort to take it back and put it in the rack for crying out loud how lazy are we these days lowering spring sent out to caesar it should be there in about a week on friday the uh what they say i don't remember the date anyway should be out to you on friday caesar if you're watching congratulations again now we gotta head to the post office thank you guys for ordering all these key tags and decal still really pumped it goes a long way in supporting the channel yeah Appreciate it very much. Get yourself some. For the time being, I'm going to keep selling them for uh, two for 10 and give you a free decal. I'll run that little special here for a little bit longer, uh, but I think I'm going to keep the key tags at two for 10. Uh, selling a, a single one for $5 uh, just isn't making sense. Ultimately, the sales of all of these things go to help support the channel, but it costs more to send out one of the key tags than the key tag uh, that I make on the key tag, right? So it becomes a washer. Actually, I'm going in the hole selling one of them. So it doesn't make any sense uh, to do it that way, but for two for 10, uh, I can make that work a little bit goes a long way. So I think that's probably what I'll do going forward. But for the time being, two key tags for 10 bucks and I'll throw in a free decal a pair of decals a free pair of decals so that's two white two black two red two teal whatever the case may be it's two of one color i was splitting them up for some people uh, when they ask or have a special request but they're window decals guys or or um you know brake caliper decals I'm, i can't split them up i ordered them in pairs so I, i'll end up with odd numbers of here and there and that that doesn't work for me either so it's just keep that in mind if you order two key tags for 10 bucks you'll get a free pair of decals but it's going to be one color so thanks a lot for understanding can hear how good that thing sounds but golly let's go open these little parts here little a little background i had no intention of ever making this particular modification this particular upgrade i guess you could call it i looked at some options but i never considered this particular option until a subscriber actually asked me if i ever considered it uh, I hadn't, but it sounded like a fantastic idea. And of course, I just did a little looking around and found a heck of a deal. So, let's get to the garage, take a look at it. Oh my goodness. Now, admittedly, these items are not going to help with performance whatsoever. It is purely cosmetic and really, it wasn't even a top priority for me, but I thought it'd be cool and it could be make for cool content if somebody else is uh, interested in doing something like this. Let's just jump right into it. They're all three related. And uh, this one's already been opened because I had to check quality. So here we go. Keep it out of frame. 
for a second. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. So the upgrade, if you can't tell, is to the sport pedals. Now, a lot of people like to go for aftermarket pedals. You know, they'll do like the uh, clamp-on style or, um, you know, the over, like the pedal covers or whatever, uh, the real cheap ones. Uh, but you can find some good deals on eBay for like, uh, you know, part-out situations. Or, uh, you know, like this has obviously been, this is a factory sport pedal. Uh, I believe the description said it was from a 2016 Q50. Um, and they should just plug and play. Uh, it's essentially the same thing. It just has kind of the cooler brushed aluminum look. So the rest of these are uh, the corresponding pedals. Hold, please. There we go. So you can see I have the gas pedal, the brake pedal, and the dead pedal, the uh, footrest. So these are from two different cars, but they're the same pedals. And you can get some, like I said, on eBay for like $30 or something like that. And I don't know what they are. It's like a cover to put over your gas pedal and the same for the other two. Uh, the gas pedal is in really good condition. It looks barely used. The brake pedal has a little bit of wear on it uh, that I didn't see in the picture. Obviously the corner from the foot resting on the pedal. Um, but we'll get these swapped out. This, this one is almost like brand new too. So really, really cool. Um, again, never really thought of this as a potential upgrade because it really, it really doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, I mean, how, I, you know, they're gonna, it's gonna look better. It'll look nicer than these for sure. But did I need them? No, absolutely not. But will they be cool? Sure, especially if I finally find some new uh, floor mats. But, you know, decent little upgrade. Again, I'll make for some decent content if you guys are interested uh, in seeing that. That'll probably be uh, a video coming up. I have a bunch of installation videos on the schedule, but honestly, it's it's hard to get to them all. They're all my boards up in the office of what I want to do, videos I want to make, and in the order. And I hate jumping out of order. I try to plan things to how I can upload them through the week. And some of the installation ones get overlapped or I find something that I want to do more, make more of a priority. And uh, it's just, it's hard. So I have the uh, LED uh, kick plates uh, that I want to do. There's there's a lot of stuff, more stuff coming. And I'm looking for a car actively now for a second channel car. I'm getting some quotes on expanding this driveway. So there's a lot of stuff coming for the channel. So I hope you guys uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you haven't already. So yeah, anyway, just trying to keep things uh, on track and up to date and moving forward and trying to uh, get everything done in a, in a timely manner is a challenge. Now we have springtime coming, so uh, there's going to be more driving, more videos. Hopefully we can get to autocross, uh, hopefully we can get to drag strip. All the autocross events are like two or three hours away from me, which really blows, so I, I don't know. I, I'm confident the year's going to be good, but we'll see how it pans out. It's a lot of fun, but it can be stressful as well making these videos. But anyway, no, anyway nonetheless, I appreciate you guys following along. I uh, hope you're looking forward to uh, doing the installation on these pedals, and it'll be something that you may be looking forward to. Obviously, it's more for the non-sport guys than the sport guys because you have these already. Uh, but that's all I got for today. Uh, we have some other stuff going on, so probably nothing that you'd be interested in. Uh, but for now, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the continued support, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.